after how bad season 3 was, I am praying that season 4 will be good, or at least better than season 3, but <sighs> let's find out. And to start off the season, we've got Hermit Red. What a strong way to start the season with a lot of great gags and some really good drawings. Definitely Chris Ricardi's best episode so far. Now let's move on to House of Next Tuesday. Um, I like the title card. What do you want me to say? It's just boring. Now let's move on to A Friend in Your Face. What a bad episode with barely any funny gags and some really ugly and flat drawings. Like seriously, remember when the show used to have like really cool drawings? Now the drawings look so cheap now, like what happened? Oh yeah, budget cuts. Now let's move on to Blazing and Trails. This is the best episode of the entire game's era so far by having some really funny gags and some really cool drawings. The first time we've had this since like season 2. Now let's move on to Lumberjerks. This is the worst episode of the entire show so far by having no funny gags whatsoever and some really, really ugly drawings. Like, look at this. Who, who thought this was okay? Now let's move on to Farm Hands. It's just a bunch of series of farmer jokes that aren't funny. Moving on. Now let's move on to Prehistoric Stimpy. Meh episode with ugly drawings and not that many funny gags, but I will admit this is the only time I've seen Wilbur H. Cobb shoehorn in the episode where he actually serves a purpose to the story. Now let's move on to Magical Golden Singing Cheese. This is an episode I know I should like since it has some shock humor like the old Spunko days, but unlike the Spunko days where they put in shock humor when it actually meant something, the shock humor here is just shock humor for the sake of shock humor. Now let's move on to A Hard Day's Luck. Just like Hard Times for Haggis is another example on why Chris Riccardi's simple style mostly does not work for this show. Now let's move on to I Love Chicken. I'm mixed on this one. On one hand, the comedy here is amazing, but on the other hand, I'm not really a fan of Billy West's performance as Ren here. Now let's move on to Powder Toast Man vs. Waffle Woman. I know a lot of people don't like this one, and I will admit that it's not as good as the original Powder Toast Man, but I don't know, I am gonna be honest, I quite like this one. Now let's move on to It's a Dog's Life. Just another episode where Ren and Stimpy are just tortured for no reason and very unfunny gags. Now let's move on to Egg Yokio. Say, remember those fairy tale episodes from season 1? Well, let's make another one of those, but somehow let's make it even worse with flat drawings and unfunny gags. Now let's move on to Pixie King. While not as bad as Egg Yokio, it's still a really bad episode with unfunny gags and some really flat drawings. Now let's move on to Double Header. What a gross episode. And it's not even in the traditional Ren and Snippy way where it's gross it's funny. This episode is so gross that it's kind of uncomfortable to watch. Now let's move on to the Scotsman in Space. Hey, remember the space episodes from season 1? Well, we're bringing those back, but this time we're gonna bring back Haggis because people were so demanding that character to come back. Now let's move on to Aloha Hoic. Surprise, surprise, another unfunny episode with a lot of unfunny gags and some really ugly drawings. Now let's move on to Insomniac Ren. While there are some ugly drawings here, I'm not gonna lie, I actually kinda like this episode. Now let's move on to My Shiny Friend. It's an alright episode. While the drawings do look cheap here, I will admit that there were some funny gags and the ending was pretty funny. Now let's move on to Cheese Rush Days. What a horrible episode where Ren is just acting like a complete dick. Although he does get his commandments at the end, which is good. Now let's move on to Wiener Barons. A really good episode that has some really creative and funny gags. Now let's move on to Kalut Wranglers. Alright episode, but once again, they shoehorn in Wilbur H. Cobb, but thankfully they kill him off. Hopefully that's the last time we see him. Now let's move on to Ren Needs Help. It's an alright episode with some funny gags. Now let's move on to Old Blue Nose. While it does have a generic rock star story, I will admit it's an alright episode and I did like the ending. Now let's move on to Stupid Psychic Union. It feels so weird watching this episode now that all the actors and writers strikes are happening. Anyways, meh episode. Now let's move on to Superstitious Stimpy. Another meh episode and hands down has Billy West's worst performance as Ren. And finally, to close off this godforsaken season, we've got the Travelogue. Bad, 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 bad. It's official, season 4 is now the worst season of the entire show. While it does have more good episodes in season 3, this season's worst episodes are really bad and some of the worst episodes of the entire show. At this point, I am praying that season 5 will be good, or at least better than this crap hole of a season.